What's going on everyone and welcome to the Knightsman channel. What we have today is a new PlayStation 5 controller reveal. Um, super excited because Sony have finally released something to do with the PlayStation 5 uh, which is going to get a lot of people fired up because they've been very quiet um, as of late and it's good getting a little bit of news to do with the PlayStation 5 because I cannot wait. But Without further ado, we're going to deep dive into uh, the, the look of the contro uh, controller and uh, I guess some of the features about it. So definitely smash that like button. We want 50 likes on this video, so I need your help to do that. Subscribe if you're not a Knightsman and definitely hit that bell notification and comment down below if you're a fan of the controller. But without further ado, let's deep dive. Let's get a picture up on the screen for you to look at and boom, there it is. Wow. First of all, it's totally different. Um, if you look at it, the controller right here, yep, very different. We can see um, straight off the bat the coloring system. Uh, they've gone for a white uh, with a black kind of at their bottom there around uh, the two joysticks. So that's something that they haven't really done before uh, with their generic controllers. Uh, so it's good to see, I guess, you're going down a different path. Uh, do I like it? Yes, I think I do. I think it, it looks sleek. Um, it looks very sharp. Uh, I think they have tried to go down this route before, maybe um, in previous versions, but they're finally, um, I guess, increasing the size a bit and, you know, uh, making it maybe fit a little bit better um, in some of the players' hands because I heard, um, you know, throughout the years that, you know, people sometimes don't like the feel of it but maybe this sinks in a little bit better so i'm going to be interested to see once i uh pick up my playstation 5 how well this controller fits in my hands because that's a biggie for me um because you're spending hours and hours you know jamming games you definitely want a controller um that feels but with that new look and uh, we also have the new name change which is another um, big feature they've gone away from the dual shock controller and they've now called it um, the dual sense controller so I think what they're aiming to do um, in this sense here is uh, really capture I guess the feelings um, of being in a game so for instance they have the triggers uh, they're going to be um, like uh, controlled a bit where they apply tension so if you're stringing a bow um, you might feel the tension of the bow uh, when you're pressing down the button and then as soon as you release it it kind of goes so you know it's going to be um, pretty cool to see how they um, integrate that into some of the games um, and what sort of things that they can do uh, with these pressure triggered um, buttons that's gonna be pretty cool I reckon uh, let's have another look at, at these pictures uh, it looks like the buttons are all gonna be gray or black uh, from the image they're usually color-coded uh, like the PlayStation 4 remote so it's uh, pretty interesting I think that's more because of the the white kind of frame you know I think the colors will look a little bit odd against the white so that's maybe they've kind of color like contrasted it with the black so it's pretty cool um, what else we got there the PlayStation button usually it's the home button on the PlayStation 4 remote it's usually the circle um, emblem uh, on the the, the remote but it looks like here it's more carved out which is pretty cool uh, I know that uh, has a built-in mic uh, on the controller as well so that's another feature that they've added so for instance if uh, you don't have a, a mic or can or a headset you know you can still talk to your mates um, through the controller uh, which I think is pretty cool and I've also heard a little bit here and there that uh, the, the vibrations might be different to your surroundings and stuff like that so it's going to be cool to see um, how they tack on to that word sense um, by really I guess you know giving us controller that can really I guess feel what's happening in your environment in the game I think that's what they're trying to aim for which is pretty cool uh, we look at the uh, the, the d-pad we can see that the lights there on either side uh, I know there were a lot of feedback about the light at the back of the PlayStation 4 remote uh, some companies like to in like integrate like health system through the lights however you can't really see it uh, because it's at the back of the controller so I know that there was a big uh, vocal point um, 
and, and another thing was to distinguish each remote if you've got more than one uh, for PlayStation. But it's good to actually see it up front um, at the front of the controller uh, because, you know, that's where you're really looking. You're not turning around to see at the back. I guess it's more of a hindrance. Uh, so, yeah, I want to see what else that they do with this uh, touchpad as well. I know for me, I quite like it uh, in sense of bringing up maps and games and stuff like that. It's just an easy tool just to smack the middle of the controller and really um, access the map pretty easy. I know some games like Days Gone, you know, really try and utilize uh, the touchpad for navigating the, the, the start system. So when you um, press it, you can uh, swipe to the right, swipe down for skills or whatever. What not so I think that's pretty cool how they've utilized that um, I think they have changed the share button as well to more of a create button uh, which is cool because we create um, we also share though so um, all good it's going to be cool to see what they do with that uh, another main feature is uh, they've changed uh, the port in the uh, controller uh, so they've gone to the newer upgraded version which is again is cool because it's where um, the new technologies are going and you know the controller needs to change with the time so I think it's doing that. Uh, but obviously looking straight at the remote, uh, looking from a different angle now that you can see the port um, but you know they've gone with the standard um, you know buttons and whatnot like nothing major has changed there looking from the back I don't think there's any buttons on the back as is what people were kind of putting out there so I don't think that's there I think that's maybe an extra extra option which they might add um, I guess a, a huge thing for me as a, a player is um, how long is this uh, dual sense controller going to last uh, I've been hearing things and reading things that it's going to be um, an improved version of what we've seen uh, on the PlayStation 4 controller so that's good because uh, as you know shooting some of these videos I do have the PlayStation remote uh, charge button um, indicate pop up all the time and it's a little bit annoying because I feel like it's on um, the charging system more than I'm actually playing it these days uh, as the controller gets older so it's going to be cool to see you know an extended battery life which I think it is in like great need uh, for a lot of the players out there because they're jamming for well over a couple of hours a night you know this that's what the console's there for so that's what they're doing so uh, yeah what else um, seems like we've still got the speaker system um, just under the touchpad which is standard um, yeah I think the look uh, is, is it going to be um, I guess contrasted onto the console uh, they're going to have their white feature which is something I guess PlayStation ha hasn't really done because it's, it's always been a, a black uh, console so it's going to be definitely um, you know cool to see if they change it up in that way uh, do I think it's a good idea like blending colors in? I don't. I think they should definitely stick with one. Uh, but I definitely want to see if they change up the, the coloring scheme or if it's, if it's just going to be one set um, color. Because I'm pretty sure this image here is the one that's going to be um, coming out uh, with the PlayStation 5 at launch. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty interesting. This next image here we have um, the PlayStation 5 controller and then the new Xbox controller um, side by side. Yeah, they do look pretty similar. I still think the Xbox controller is a little bit beefier. I know that the PlayStation 5 one, um, they said they've you know, jigged around uh, some of the, 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 the mechanics in the controller so it works good um, and that uh, the controller, that they're trying not to make it too heavy. Uh, so again, that's another another positive, but I guess the main things uh, that I'm going to be looking out for in this controller is how well um, it really tackles my senses, because that's what they're trying to go for here, so I want them to deliver on it, because we all know um, Sony have had rumours that the PlayStation 5 isn't um, you know, doing well or whatnot, you know, rumors are rumors, people don't actually know, so I, I love it that they've, you know, they're trickling out this sort of information, it's definitely making us want more, uh, but yeah, that's my opinion, I think um, they're going to be just fine, I think they're going to make the deadline, uh, and you know, 
PlayStation's definitely gone down a, a, a different route towards the Xbox, but I think that's in another video. This is all about the controller here, and I'm a big fan. I absolutely love it. Um, again, what I'm looking for is it to fit perfectly in my hands, uh, really capture my senses, uh, being in an environment for a game or, f or feeling different aspects while playing. I uh, definitely want to see an extended battery life and yeah i want to see all these different aspects that they're trying to put in here for the new controller so i think if if they do that uh right then um they're definitely going to be good but reading here you know um their big focus is on sense specifically the sense of touch um so yeah i think they've taken a lot of feedback um, from players from consumers from um, developers and they're really trying to mold something that I think is just hopefully going to be groundbreaking and it's going to be a solid, solid controller. That's what I'm hoping for um, because I'm a big PlayStation 5 fan and I'm going to get the console. So, um, yeah, I mean, new name, new look, um, new feel. I think that's what they're going for. So, very positive uh, Sony and I think it's uh, going to be quite cool to see what the uh, the console will look like which is they said it's going to be in a couple months so if they do a nice little tear down uh, what I want from them though is a big marketing campaign where I want them to blow me out of the water with a solid video that's what I'm waiting for and I'm hoping I think that's what everyone out there is waiting for so definitely um, watch out for that when it comes out but apart from that, hopefully you've enjoyed this discussion about the new PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. Uh, if you're a big fan or you like PlayStation or gaming and sense, definitely make sure you smash that like button. 50 likes, let's go, I know we can do it. Um, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed before, this is what the channel is about. Providing you with information out there about gaming, about movies, about anything. About anything entertaining, that's what we are, entertaining. Entertainers as well. Um, so yeah, um, definitely hit the bell notification because it's going to let you know when we drop in new videos and comment down below if you're going to get a PlayStation 5 or Xbox or if you're just going to stick with a PC. But apart from that, hopefully you've enjoyed the uh, video. Uh, thank you very much for watching all the way through if you have and that is Nightsman out. Stay safe out there. Cha-ching. Till the next reveal.